<laughs> Just done the bloody washing up. They've been printing me one every week. I've been doing very well lately. Another one. Um, A month later, and with the by-election behind her, Marlene has managed to keep herself busy. So I've been doing that while you've been away. You've been writing to the newspapers a lot? Oh, frequently, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just so angry. I, I spend my whole day being angry. Do you think you'll be angry for the rest of your life, Marlene? Yeah. Yeah. But it's the anger that drives you. If you were complacent, you wouldn't bother. Marlene, there, there might be people watching this who think that you just need a, some love in your life. No. I'll leave it alone. I find better things to do with my time. Like the BMP? Oh, lots of things, not just the BMP. Lots of things. Since the breakup of her marriage, Marlene has found an outlet for her anger. That's when Nick came to speak. Nick Griffin. I really like Nick Griffin. And in the BMP, a home for her affection. So even though Nick Griffin has described the Holocaust the hollow hoax, and he's got a conviction for incitement for racial hatred, that doesn't bother you? No. Tony Blair told us lies, and there's hundreds of thousands of people died in Iraq because of the lies he told. Are you going to go on about that? He's a liar. He wants to strap into a tank and run through Basra. So there's hundred and odd of our lads being killed on a pack of lies. Are you saying anything about that then? Or what did my granddad suffer for? What did all my uncles suffer for? For everybody to stroll in this country and strip it of its assets. Do you think no. we should have gone to war with Germany? I don't really know the ins and outs of it. Um, I don't think we should be at war with Iraq. I don't think killing people wholesale... Um, yeah, I'm not talking about Iraq, I'm talking about going to war with Germany, the Second World War. I've not given it much thought, oh, to be honest. Oh, I mean... No, honestly, I have not given it much thought. Whether we should have gone to war against Hitler. Oh, then we're going to come back to a, the BNP being a Nazi party. Now you raised the, the... No, you're digging at it. You are digging at it. I asked you whether we should have gone to war with Germany, and you're saying you don't know. <sighs> well, it's the same as Saddam, isn't it? Saddam were cruel to his people. Should we have gone to war with Saddam? But what's that solved? I've not really given it a load of thought. Um, I don't believe in what Hitler stood for. But this country's got a very lot, a of, of great deal of Hitleristic tendencies. After an eventful summer, the Casses are settling back into work and family life. I, th I think it's a saw, is that? Oh, watch the watch. <laughs> but things have changed slightly since Nick was told that he'd no longer be paid for his work in the BNP. Today, he's seeing to some mail-order deliveries from the BNP lockup near his house. So are you, no are you no longer party manager then? I'm not party manager, no. Uh, there's three people taking over as party manager now. Uh, we've now got a management team, so that means it'll be three times as effective, uh, which is a positive breakthrough for the party, and uh, as I say, we keep going forward, and uh, you move into new roles. You're drilling a hole in my wall, you monkey. <laughs> so what are you going to do for income now, then? Uh, well, I don't know. I've got various things uh, lined up, um, just like anybody else. Get to the job centre. How does Susie feel about it? Um, she's fine. She's the same as me. You know, we're both party people, and whatever advances the party is the main thing. Are you going to be a builder? And you're a man. Are you? Are you going to build a house? We build me a really big house and some stables. Thank you. I think where people who are more interested in family and uh, ideals and having a safe, secure future for the children than having bags of money, you know, bags of money are uh, only important when you can't afford to pay bills. They're not important when you don't have a country. So would you, would you like to move out of the city and go and live in a countryside? Yeah, my ideal place would be in a nice house, sitting on top of a hill, 
looking over all my land with trees and a stream and um, there are all my horses in the field. Um, How does the BNP fit into your fantasy? Well, I suppose it'd be green and pleasant land. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Would you mind if Nick quit the party? No. I wouldn't mind. Um, it's quite nice to have a bit more of a normal life. I wouldn't mind at all. <laughs> understand why all you blokes aren't on front line with me fighting because this is our country we women are multitasked and that is why this party needs us as much as England needs the party Next tonight on Sky 2, Michael Bublé performs live at New York's Webster Hall.